Hello, this is the second video about the game that I'm making. Uh, I'll caveat again by saying this is the first game I've ever made. We're still early days, so if things look terrible, don't work properly, then uh, that's why. So, um, here we are. We have a, a load screen. This is not the title of the game. Uh, I needed to write something in the text box. I haven't got a title yet. At the moment, everything is called Courtyard or some variation of it because that's what I started modeling but I haven't got a title yet um, and so here we are in a, a completely different scene to where we were last time this is a, a test scene that I'm using to do a bunch of tests the most visible thing are these really horrible looking walls uh, they look bad they look terrible I was spending some time playing around with uh, normal mapping and things trying to work out uh, how I was going to texture stuff and what I've ended up with is this which you've already seen uh, in the loading screen I don't know if this style, this way of doing things is going to work out because obviously um, there's a lot of geometry here there's a lot of um, triangles whether or not the game's going to run if it's all built in these blocks I don't know but that's that's the sort of style we're we're looking at for modelling the buildings and over here we have really the first building that I've I've started doing properly. The long building on one side of the courtyard. Uh, so it's made out of repeating blocks of uh, this brickwork. You can see it's repeating, definitely. Uh, look particularly at the side of the windows. Um, but I think it looks good. The real question is, is this too many triangles? And then as far as the texturing goes, we can get close and see that it's it's pretty basic it's got a, a diffuse uh, texture on there and then it's got some uh, baked in uh, ambient occlusion which gives some some shape to everything and I like ambient occlusion if you've seen any of my videos I always ambient occlusion everything so uh, I haven't done really I haven't textured or anything the inside yet and the corners aren't gonna stay like that um, and uh, the steps are temporary and you have to jump up them. Uh, but yeah, this is the what we're going for, for the look, I think, of the, the final thing. But what I've been spending most of my time on is the, the interaction in the game, uh, which is principally these objects that you'll, you'll come up to and you'll interact with to, to listen to audio diary things. These are not objects, these are just uh, temporary, but right now, Again, uh, the UI is temporary. You go up and you get a little message. And the tiles of the paths have been scrubbed. And you, you can listen to the, the thing. You can stop the thing. You were young when you first came here. To... Rumour had it that some of the older drum... So uh, each object has uh, its own commentary, its own little text. You, can... you were young when you first... Interact with it. I've also put in a system of, uh, well, like the descriptor, the the um, the verb that you're doing for each object will change at the moment. These are just random, random verbs. But um, that's sort of the main interaction of the game. So I've got that in. Well, the the next big thing with that really is to put subtitles in, which I'm not 100 percent sure how I'm going to do. But I, I do want there to be subtitles going with the text, so I need to work that that out. But the basic object interaction is is done. What I don't know is if you can pick these objects up and inspect them. I think it would be good if you could. Um, we will see. But yeah, that's that's basically uh, everything. I think last video I said I was gonna do a bunch of writing. I haven't. I've written a couple of hundred words. I've mostly been uh, working out this sort of stuff and and playing around with texturing, trying to get something I like. And uh, I guess next I should probably stress test things and see if this m number of uh, polygons of triangles is is going to be ridiculous when when spread out over the the whole scene. I just don't know. Um, and do some writing, I guess. And also uh, one last thing: I have to load a new scene. Okay, so what you're seeing is my is another little test uh, scene. 
it's nonsense really at the moment, but I have this idea which is that I would like the, there to be music in the game, uh, obviously. And what I want to do with the music is have these, um, have it very spatial, have these kind of nodes around the map where, where the music is coming from. And um, as you move from one area to another, the, it'll, it'll mix between the, 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 the sounds happening at the different nodes. But my idea, what I'd like to try and do is have the, the nodes um, themselves be, be moving that they will have a have an origin point and then as you move towards them they'll be attracted to you and um, as you move away again they'll be pulled back to their origin and as you as you move around it will be possible to sort of oh uh, I've just fallen off that's not clever uh, as you move around it will be possible to sort of um, collect I guess these uh, audio files and then lose them again as you move out of an area and it'll be a sort of dynamic mixing I don't know if it's going to work, and uh, this is my first attempt to do it, which has failed completely using the 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 physics components of Unity. Um, so I think it's going to be just a just a coding thing, which I've I've started, and uh, my trigonometry has uh, disappeared a bit. Well, it's not really it. I've done similar things in two D before, but um, uh, I sort of haven't got to grips yet with um how unity wants me to to animate things programmatically i guess that that's what it is so i'll be working on this and uh writing and um doing some more modeling probably okay that's everything thank you